Hi, I'm David, and welcome to this introduction to the STF-8 Twin Head Flash. Okay, so today I'm gonna to have a quick look at the STF-8 Twin Head Flash. I've got it here in the case. Uh, it comes in a lovely case. I'm gonna show you what comes in there when you buy it. Uh, we'll have a little look at how it fits onto the camera as well, and how to make adjustments on the rear dials to get the best out of the photos that you take using it. Okay, so this is our STF-8, and this is the case that it comes in. I'm just gonna pop it open just there so you can have a little look at what's inside. Uh, first little pocket here will have your adapter rings in. So currently in this one is the one that I don't use as much, but this is an adapter ring for the 12 to 40 f2.8. Uh, so that can live in there. Let me just fold that back over. Then inside the main part of the case is the flash itself. So this is the controller head just here and the two flash heads which have got the diffusers already attached to them. So when you get this, they'll be in separate little packets and you just need to clip those on just there. And then in the front section here is the other adapter ring and this is the one that fits onto the 60 mil and the 30 mil macro. Uh, and it's also got the sliders on it which will hold the macro heads uh, so that when you want to twist and turn, you can turn them around just like this. All packed away in a nice little case. Right, let's have a quick look now at how we can fit this to our camera. So, I've already fitted the adapter ring onto the front of the 60mm here. That's just on a nice, simple thread. Now, obviously, make sure that you don't over tighten that and just put it on finger tight. The next thing I need to do is take the controller head here and fit this to the hot shoe. So I'm gonna slide it onto the hot shoe just there, nice and tight. And then very important, if I can show you this, there's a locking mechanism just here. We just have to slide that over to make sure that that fully locks into there, okay? That means that's on nice and secure. So if I now turn this around, we can look at the front of it. So we've got these two sliders on the front of the adaption ring, and they swing around backwards and forwards. And this is what the heads are gonna go on top of. So if we look at the bottom of the heads here, these heads do have nice little screw threads, so you can mount them on tiny little miniature tripods if you want, but this is the fitting that's gonna slide uh, into our uh, connector on the adapter ring just here. So all we've gotta do is flash facing forward from the front, just slide it into there, and make sure that it clicks in. There is a release button just there on each one. And then we can do the other side as well and just slide that in onto that rail just there and you can hear it click in on there as well. And then that's it. Our flash is mounted onto our camera and lens, nice and tight, fully weather sealed, ready to go. So now we're looking at the front of the STF-8 flash that's attached to the 60mm macro via this adapter ring here. And we've got our diffusers on, which we can just clip backwards there and they clip onto the cable quite nicely. Also, if we look at the flash heads, we can tilt these flash heads in and out, depending on the distance that we're working at. Quite often I have them pointed straight in uh, because I'm working really, really close. So we'll fold that diffuser back over. And now there's a couple of little pinch uh, buttons on each of these little side heads. If we pinch those together, we can change the direction of our flash heads, depending on what kind of results we want to get from that. And that's the same on both of these heads. Okay, so there you have it, the STF-8 Twin Head Macro Flash. Now, I've got to say that this is probably my favorite setup with Olympus equipment. It's an EM1 with my 60mm macro lens on there and the STF-8 Twin Head Flash. Fully weather sealed, really light, easy to just grab, go out the door and start taking pictures. Hopefully, the video has been useful to you. If you've got any questions, please put them down here in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. But until next time, take care, bye for now.